Yeah. Hey, howdy. howdy. We're back. I'm like back. It. And uh, I'm definitely smiling today. Yeah. Uh, so. This is one we've been very, very excited for. This is to preface a little bit. This is off of Everything is Terrible. And it's just one of those clips. In, it's, a, it's a movie, obviously. But it was one of those clips that's like, what the fuck is this? It's, it is the only thing we can kind of gather from the clips that we had seen. It's a kid's movie. But it's also a very depressing kids. It's, movie. it's a movie for for sad boys. Yeah, it's a movie for sad boys, kids on Valium, kind of thought, stuff like that. So, kids whose parents hate them, <laughs> pretty much. But it's called Boyd's Shadow, and we tried looking up ways to find it for a long time, and it was like the only thing we could find was some sort of VHS tape at a random a library in Kansas City. Yeah, I think it was in Minnesota. But okay. But it was the, it was somewhere out of state. Basically that's the only way we could get our hands on it. But somehow, some way, for some weird reason, someone uploaded the whole thing on YouTube, thankfully. The universe was speaking to us. <laughs> obviously. So yes, here we are. Finally we get to watch Boyd Shadow and like I said la at the end of the last episode, we have not watched this whole thing. We just have like with a two minute clip from everything is terrible to go off of. Everything else is like the rest of the 51 minutes is completely clear. So you're going to be witnessing this for the first time along with us. So... And you better like it. <laughs> if, you, if it's bad well, we'll know. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, anyway. Boy Shadow. Boy. Boy. All right, we are recording. Yeah, make sure pay to the Federal law. <laughs> Come and get me, coppers. Nobody's protecting Boyd now. <laughs> Boyd belongs to us. <laughs> it's too late. You're my little boy now. <laughs> You're my little Boyd. Boyd? Deliverance Part 2 Boyd's <laughs> Shadow Is it the little kid who plays the the banjo? Yep. It's his story. The story of Boyd. The worst boy in Kansas. <laughs> and he's not even particularly bad, just nobody likes him. Poor kid. He's just one of those kids that serves as like an anchor for all the hatred in the world. <laughs> this is definitely Kansas. Look at those schools. <laughs> they teach creationism. The coastal plain, the Piedmont Plateau, and the mountains. The coastal I already want to kick his ass and take his lunch money. <laughs> He's the only one taking state. notes. Proud history. Or drawing, never mind. He's the least ki cool kid in the class. <laughs> not saying something. <laughs> Sorry, not... Can anyone give me the answer? Lucy? Boyd sucks. Hawk? That's Correct. Right. <laughs> Kitty Hawk. The area just beyond the Outer Banks is called the Graveyard of the Atlantic. Have you ever been in the side of the schoolhouse at the uh, uh, Living History Farms? Yeah, it's just like this. <laughs> exactly. That's what they say. Edward Peach, better known by his sobriquet. Is she drunk? I'm choosing to believe that that hiccup was so scripted. <laughs> Sobriety. <laughs> Something which your parents will never understand. It's really just a fancy word for nickname. In this case, given to Edward Teach, 
because of his luxuriant flowing black beard. He <laughs> he <laughs> beards are funny. <laughs> I wish I had a beard. <laughs> the fuck? He's having one of his neck beard fantasies. <laughs> I'll save you, my lady. <laughs> they get the music from Hydelide. I mean, I'll grant this. It's got more background music than the princess and the goblin. <laughs> I'll save you, uh, princess. <laughs> oh, I cut my hand. <laughs> uh, I need a boost. Oh. Ha ha. What? I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> he broke his ankle. <laughs> 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 You're pregnant. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Crazy Willard? Crazy Willard? <laughs> There's your MC name. <laughs> Your mom? Sobriquet. We were discussing the word sobriquet. Would Sorry, that so wasn't in my dream. Give us the definition. Sobriquet. A bunch of dried flowers? <laughs> Children, that will be enough of that. No amusement in my classroom. <laughs> this is a Kansas public school. Thou Ooh. art safe Ooh, by my side. He was like writing this letter right next to her. I guess. I guess they are in whatever uh, school system still teaches in places like this. So <laughs> he's probably counting on her not being able to read. Especially <laughs> <laughs> with his curses. Time for imagination and time for attention in the classroom. That's no way to speak to your cousin. <laughs> So he's a real dude. Heard about the rocks on the roof, Robert. Robert. Darn it, Robert. We all know that you did it. That kid back there. He's having a good time. <laughs> Fuck Robert. <laughs> yeah, Robert Janine. <laughs> he just wants to be alone, children. He doesn't have snakes, and he doesn't deserve rocks on his roof. Yeah, we're just going to put rocks on his roof. <laughs> he has snakes on his roof. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on my motherfucking roof. But you have to get better. <laughs> <laughs> this Naruto character will never catch on. He's just a lonely old man who wants to be left alone. Please give him that. You make a nicer than I thought she'd be. Wow. Somehow this kid is making me hate the New York Yankees even more. <laughs> This, this movie is the one reason everybody hates the Yankees. <laughs> like, even people who haven't seen this movie just, like, intrinsically know that Boyd was wearing a Yankees cap. <laughs> Adora rules! <laughs> The truth of 
Every one of these kids is no Doyle. Hey, here comes Sir Boy. Sir Boy. Sir Boy. Is there a basement over there? Hey, dork. And he pulls out a mace. <laughs> you think he's going to get Lucinda in the end? Oh, for the sake of his future depression, yes. <laughs> we need to make it. He's just an idiot. How dare the least cool kid in class have a crush on me? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna go do Xanax at home. I got plenty to share. What a skunk. Oh, he ties up his books like that. Yeah, why, why are they all, like, living in the 1800s? <laughs> right? Like I said, Kansas. <laughs> I don't even know if this actually takes place in Kansas. <laughs> oh my god, if it did. <laughs> maybe maybe in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, it's too green. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's not enough, like, <laughs> brown. <laughs> There's not enough tolls. Jump. Do a flip. <laughs> He skins him on the toilet. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> take a shit and skin the snake. <laughs> I mean, I've always referred to it as taking Herman to the circus, but. <laughs> Just get my snake. Hey, this is the part. You gotta admit, it's not a, like a terrible song. Yeah. You just know that, like, the moment that, like, Boyd was born, his father took one look and started, like, chain smoking. <laughs> like, an entire carton a day. Wait. Boyd? Boyd? He's like so starved for attention that he just like sort of making up children <laughs> calling his name. <laughs> it's the ghost of one of the children that got caught throwing rocks on Crazy Willard's house. <laughs> <laughs> and there are the skins. <laughs> that dog. dog. Even that dog him. hates him. <laughs> Anybody else walked by that dog would come out and see him. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> boy. Yes, yeah, stay hidden behind the cattle fence. <laughs> no one can see you. It's all electrified. He blends in perfectly with the background. <laughs> got nice digs. He's got a fucking moat. He definitely wants to be left alone. Out of the window open. So he wants to be left alone, but he's lonely. <laughs> oh no, he's boiling something in a pot. Toes. <laughs> Get out of here, dweeb. His mud looks now. Lord of the Flies, Animal Farm. What the fuck is this kid reading? <laughs> huh, look at this story. I'm going to post it on Reddit. <laughs> R slash just neckbeard things. She hates Boyd so much. I'm the favorite child. So it was like a, like a 
chipmunk running on the Casio or what? Yeah, that's probably how they did the whole soundtrack to this. Oh, pretty good so far. <laughs> She's just gonna drop Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> He's locked out of his own yard. So <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. A little aggressive, wouldn't you say? Alright, now I just need a lock of his tear uh, of his hair. And a vial of his tears. How's my little pearly girl? Are you drawing? Yes, Mommy. This is you. How pretty. You should draw boys. What a good idea. I think I will. Drawing Whoa. late. Late again. That fucker! <laughs> Don't slam it. Boy, you have got to stop boy. slamming that door. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Get started on your homework. Oh, shit. Yeah, boy. Hop to it. You keep <laughs> out of this, get squeak. Boy, you will not speak to your sister that way. You will address her as Miss Pip Squeak. <laughs> she tore that perfectly. <laughs> Right? She's done this a lot. <laughs> She's very practiced when it comes to tearing up pictures of boys. You can finish your chores before dinner time. Lord, woman. Now do your homework and go clean your sister's room. <laughs> I wanted to watch him skin the snakes. <laughs> Boy, I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you too. Now you are to finish your chores and then go over there and get your books and apologize to that man. But also, well, let's sacrifice crazy. a warthog to him. I'm not going over there alone. Everybody knows Crazy Willard skins Jordan and boils him and feeds him to his snakes. Then why'd you go over there? Boyd. Boyd? It's true. Boyd. Boyd. It is true. <laughs> I peeked in his window. He was sharpening his big old knife, and his pot was boiling on the stove, and his snakes... Well, I didn't actually see his snakes. Boyd, you are to do what I said. You are to finish your chores, and you go over there and get your books and apologize to that man. Meanwhile, think about what exactly your punishment should be. Wasn't that all of that enough? <laughs> his entire punishment is just being Boyd. <laughs> Oh. I just don't understand that. Nor do I, Pearl. Nor do I. Shit. Hopefully it's just the stage he's going through. A terrible person. <laughs> Watch, it turns out that, like, this is all just the way that he sees things, but everybody else is actually just being normal, and he's just being an Elliot Roger about it all. <laughs> He's seeing what he wishes to see. The world is so unfair. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. <laughs> they just have a picture of Crazy Willard. He's <laughs> a good looking guy. One of the kids that Crazy Willard killed. <laughs> it turns out that Boyd was already murdered by Crazy Willard, and this is just his hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's just reliving his life as a ghost. Even the ghost is better at singing than him. <laughs> I'll take that clock, though. Go, go clock.
Your timing's off. <laughs> Must be Peter Pan. Hee <laughs> hee, look, special effects. <laughs> My shadow's a girl? Oh. I mean, that explains a couple things. <laughs> She has to, like, spin around to materialize. It's like 1996 and they're all wearing, still wearing acid wash jeans. So it makes sense why it would be in Kansas. <laughs> yep. And they're all, like, wearing their shirts tucked in. <laughs> you know, am I dreaming this? Well, you are on PCP. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be constricted my blood vessels. I'm going to have a blood stroke. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I know. Oh, poor boy. Yeah, I know everything about you. And I know you gotta get your chores done or you'll be in a lot of trouble. I feel like just like giving him a stick and a hoop or something. Just something to <laughs> just enjoy his day. I know everything about you, including your Pornhub viewing habits. <laughs> You're sick, Boyd. You're sick and I hate you. <laughs> a ball in a cup or something. What's that villain from uh, Harry Potter? The white dude with the no nose? Voldemort? Yeah, so he just. Is this like an origin story to Voldemort? <laughs> Nah, Voldemort had some uh, charisma. <laughs> this is the more like Voldemort's little brother that like. Uh, well, maybe maybe when he gets older, he embraces his evil. <laughs> Time to clean up some crime. We just began. Yeah, maybe he's the origin of Toxic Avenger. Yeah, there we go. It is nice to think that he'll eventually grow up to be decent looking. <laughs> Relatively okay. He's enjoying himself cleaning. Well, we have to change that. How oh, dare he! Hmm, I wonder if my treatment of him has anything to do with this. <laughs> and I'd rather uh, have blown fuses than be a frickin' sociopath. You know I hate it when you sing, Boyd. Only crazies. How am I supposed to make a belief? Who are you talking to? Is this a call a young yin thing? My shadow. We're gonna take your books away, young man. Which, by the way, is invisible. Boy, are you Yeah, we can't see your shadow. Not only You have to have a soul to have one of those. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Jesus. And then your punishment. When I come back, you're in for the most memorable spanking of your life, Boyd. Enjoy. <laughs> the shadow was just playing the long card. Beagle 
beetle brain. Ferret face. <laughs> oh shit. Who are you talking to, hickory head? Oh snap. Yeah. You gonna throw up? She she's trusting a part that she shouldn't. You see this, boy? I'm singing along to uh, disembodied tunes that come out of nowhere for real. <laughs> and they're like wondering, yeah, why he's all fucked up. I'm going back to my room in the basement. <laughs> Boy, 2008 just isn't my year. <laughs> Stop right there, little bug. Thank goodness Dad bought me all those houses. Those are going to be worth something. Little slits. Gross. Magic beer. Hooray beer. Baby Come beer. On, I'll go with you. Embryonic beer. Now that's a market they've been missing. <laughs> baby beer. Baby beer. Beer for babies. Maybe I'll just run away and never come back. Good. Go back to Neverland. Look, man, you're never going to get laid if you don't start talking to people. <laughs> Definitely gonna kill me. He's a Red Sox fan. <laughs> he likes every team except the Yankees. <laughs> Even the Marlins. Especially the Marlins. <laughs> you see the game last night? You should try the Jello. It's my favorite. Get a good look at you. <laughs> well, I'm only gonna get two strips out of you. Not worth it. Go find me a fat one. <laughs> the Andy Melanakis, go get him. He looks yeah. plentiful. Mm, plump. <laughs> like I'm thick sorry, strips sir. of bacon. And, and, and I'm sorry about peeking in your window. It's all right. I was just a little mad because you, uh... my executive time. <laughs> Pokes him in the eye with it. <laughs> Your books are over there. Inside the oven. <laughs> Why don't you go and grab him? <laughs> 
why don't you go ahead and crawl the cake yeah. pan too? Be nice and warm in there. The shadow's like Shadow. kind of fucking with him. <coughs> I see. You're crazy. <laughs> we belong together. Let me get a glass of fabric softener for you. Nice to see you, Shadow. And we can build this thing together, standing strong forever. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh man! Friends, a good thing to have, even if she is invisible. Well, I didn't never have any real friends until Shadow came along. She's my best friend now. Before Shadow came along, I was so lonely I thought I'd go crazy. Is that how you got crazy for being lonely? <laughs> that's, that's, that's ridiculous. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I get tons of chicks. <laughs> you wouldn't know. They're, they all live out of state. Yeah. Go to different schools and stuff. Heck, I could have been your dad, but the I damn dog beat me upstairs. You like to see my kettle of hands? Got him for the post office this time. What the hell is she doing? Hey, Chatterbrain, you're in for it now. What are you doing on Crazy Lord's Porch? Getting my fucking books. <laughs> like you fucking told me to do. Send the papers, kid. You're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> You're my little boy now. <laughs> I don't know why that's so fucking funny to me. It's so weird. You gave in to old greed last night when you forced Santa Claus to give you so many gifts. I'll give them all back. It's too late. You're my little boy now. No, I'm not your little boy. You are my little boy. Come on, move it up. Like, there's no way that you can phrase that in a way where it doesn't just sound like... <laughs> messed up. <laughs> this is my wife, Martha. I did it myself. Uh, fill them with the circus rats. peanuts. Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Weird cow stuff. Now, what did you want me to say about? Oh yeah. Blow me away. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> Along with me. Can Shadow sing too? No. <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Sh Shadow's not invited. Shadow 
<laughs> Come to think of it, neither are you. Get out of my house! <laughs> What the fuck are you doing with your arm, kid? <laughs> Trying to saw it off. Saw 11 is just going to be like Jake's out, puts him in a room and makes him watch this. <laughs> but they're like, jaws are wired shut so they can't comment. <laughs> Once you get in the basement, I'll be there to kill you. Where did you learn how to play guitar like that? From my daddy. Willie Nelson. You did? Oh yeah, I knew him well. We used to smoke them Paul Malls together. He kind of bogarted them, though. <laughs> but you know your daddy was as fine fiddler as I ever heard in my life. My daddy? That's right. I can remember many nights sitting right out on that porch there, playing guitar while your daddy fiddled and your mama danced. And my mama? <laughs> That's right. Your mama was quite a buck dancer in her day. And your daddy? She did that white lady thing where, like, you know... They, they just dance like country like white ladies. <laughs> no. It has your soul, boy. I I like to hoard gold. Like Smaug. I don't have much. A few teeth. Mostly ones I dug up from your daddy's grave. <laughs> he uh, gave you them too. Well. Called Nanya. <laughs> My birthday? That's right. Your daddy wrote that team the day you were born. Instead of coming and visiting your mother in the hospital. <laughs> Can I play it? I don't think you're. And he smoked a whole carton of Paul Malls right here in front of me. <laughs> Here's something else your daddy made. Keep trying. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. <laughs> Two days later. Keep trying. <laughs> One year later. Keep trying. <laughs> She just, like, had this feeling that Boyd was enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> Must stop it. Party! <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Jesus. Now, if you play that 
Boy, it's not here, so I'm going to beat you instead. <laughs> play the spoons in a major chord myself. <laughs> <laughs> so is he not hearing that? Where do spoons go? <laughs> like what Don't you know it? there is no spoon? <laughs> been spending years trying to like summon the Baba Duke. <laughs> enjoy himself for the next two minutes until I really whip his ass. That'll make his punishment that much sweeter. <laughs> Let him have just a little taste of the good life. <laughs> a little bit of hope. Just so he knows what he's missing out on. Snakes off your neck. I'm not crazy. Oh, well, I bring one. <laughs> your mom and I have an understanding. <laughs> you know, she's the most pretty lady in town. <laughs> No. Then school third. Right. Well, you're the best friend a boy could ever have. Yeah. You are all along. I'll be there in a minute. You're okay too, kid. <laughs> I guess. We have to set an extra place for Will. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> My free candy bands in the shop. <laughs> She was inside you all along, kid. Oh, man. You're gonna have to get used to that. I want to get the surgeries ahead of time. <laughs> She ditched you. <laughs> she pawned you up on the crazy guy and, and she bounced the first chance she got. If your own shadow ditches you. Oh boy. <laughs> if your own shadow burned itself in the sunlight. Sit on it. <laughs> I brought you another one, Chief. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 
Thanks. Thanksgiving's coming up, and I uh, want to make something real special. And good riddance. <laughs> now off to save Toby Maguire. <laughs> Music composed and performed by William Stevens. Hey, well that that part never turned yeah, out. Yeah, that plot thread never uh, uh, got resolved. A lot of Stevens, man. Did, did he get Lucinda? Simon. If your name is Xavier, but it has the E. Elizabeth Broyhill. Bill Blankenship. Dick Stevens. Susan Skeen. (laughs) (laughs) I'm more Igor Temerov. Randy Book. <laughs> Buckle Fag. Austin, Texas post production. Yeah, the post production. Kernersville. Yeah, where's Kernersville? Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to Dad. <laughs> Whatever, Stevens Jr. Dad, who died from too many cigarettes. Wonder if the Stevens Bros made any other productions. I don't know. A movie film. Oh, oh wait, bloopers. The whole movie's been a blooper reel. <laughs> This person had no idea that they were being filmed. <laughs> I'll save you, Lucinda. Ah! <laughs> yes! It's exactly what I wanted to see happen. <laughs> And then Johnny will hit you back. <laughs> He's just gonna cry about it. <laughs> you gonna cry, Boyd? <laughs> Boyd. It was you, Boyd. <laughs> you were the double crosser. Shut up, O'Doyle. <laughs> O'Doyle doesn't rule. <laughs> what? O'Doyle's okay at best. <laughs> Adequate to say the least. Your middle management, O'Doyle. <laughs> there's a there's an MC name, middle management O'Doyle. <laughs> Nineteen ninety two in picture. <laughs> Boyd. Haha, <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've seen ever. He totally didn't take that from the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> Kansas humor. Quit smiling, you're ruining the, 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 the... You're supposed to have existential anxiety, damn it. I've got something for you.
This whole movie was just made so that this guy could, like, get these kids to clean his house. <laughs> <laughs> They don't even have a film clacker, clapper thing. They but just they got, still wanted to pretend. They just, they just had grandma's hand. <laughs> this whole movie was just made over the course of one weekend family reunion. <laughs> Nobody sneezes at me. Who sneezes at a wedding? It's unheard of. <laughs> that one was for you. <laughs> it is for <laughs> And he was smoking from this big old pipe. <laughs> There's just like 50 outtakes of her missing this toss. He's getting real irritated. That's how I became crazy, Willard. <laughs> she looks like Jeff's sister. I know she. <laughs> All right, back to the orphanage with you. <laughs> Yeah, they just rented these children from a fucking halfway house. <laughs> Gave them false hope. And then they're like, all right, we got to take you back. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> that was that movie. That was Boyd Shadow is what that was. Very, very dark shadow. <laughs> But that shadow almost hated him more than everybody else did. <laughs> Myself included. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I wish I could just give him like a stick and a hoop to play with or something. You know, something to brighten his day. Anything to make him go away. <laughs> <laughs> Run down that side of the street. Yeah, you see that? Uh, go back to Topeka. Here's, here's a paper boat. Uh, go play in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the clown. Yeah, that clown's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so what's the Gale scale on that one? Ooh, I don't know. I think that might uh, warrant its own scale. Point <laughs> <laughs> scale. Point scale. Yeah. Overall, though, like, some of the songs weren't bad. Uh, it was, certainly was amusing. They put better. some effort into it. Yeah, it wasn't, like, completely boring to me. And also, like, I guess the time helped. You know, I don't know if I could handle about 40 more minutes of that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh honestly I'll give that one like a seven. Yeah, seven's probably about fair. It was less cringe than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But, but uh certainly strange. I think that we set the bar very high for what we were expecting to <laughs> probably. So it's kinda like one of those things where But I'm not I'm definitely not upset that we didn't watch it. Yeah. Uh I'll never watch it again. <laughs> Unless I will two or three more times. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make but, sure that uh, I catch all the Easter eggs. <laughs> all the references. Yeah. But anyway, so, uh, yeah. Um, December. I think we might do a couple commentaries in uh, December. So, we already, I already got them lined up, I think. So, yeah. Do